So in order to have a Atlas safe room installed, um, what you need is a substantial concrete slab. Uh, if that doesn't exist, obviously we can coordinate and, and get that poured. Uh, but what most people do is install them into their garage slabs. And it's really all about mass and that slab holding together. So once we take that, the safe room itself exceeds uh, the standards it needs to to be an EF5 rated uh, storm shelter. But the concrete you know, is obviously an integral part because we're gonna anchor to that for the, for the support, for the weight. Um, so if you have a substantial concrete slab, a, an Atlas safe room can be anchored you know, to your existing slab. If not, um, we can come in and have either have a, your contractor or we can have um, you know, our team pour a concrete slab for you that we would, that we'd anchor into. Um, and once anchored, each one of those, uh, you know, an, Atlas, an average Atlas safe room is gonna have something like, in just the anchors itself, uh, you know, over 30 tons of uplift strength. So far more than a EF5 tornado is gonna be able to generate. We've ran into homes, especially older homes, that maybe didn't have the proper steel reinforcing in the concrete slab, either in the garage or the patio that they wanted to install it. And at that point, um, you know, we'd have to figure out how to pour something new so it was substantial enough. Your, your standard garage slab is gonna be steel reinforced, uh, you know, thick enough to drive a car on. So if, if properly anchored to that, to a substantial slab, then, an, you know, an Atlas safe room is gonna do the job that it's built to do.